to the $100 MBA show where you learn business without the useless blabber with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today is part one of our two-part lesson on how to use Facebook marketing, specifically Facebook ads. Facebook ads seems to be the talk of the town. Everybody seems to be using them these days. But how do you use them correctly? How do you make sure you're not wasting your money? We've used Facebook ads in our business, and I'm going to share it with you in this two-part lesson, today and tomorrow, how to use Facebook ads the right way. So what are we waiting for? Let's get down to business. I first need to address the fact that this two-part lesson is not going to be talking about how to create the actual ad, like how to create the ad within Facebook. There are plenty of courses online that show you exactly how to do that. What this two-part lesson is about is the business strategy of how to use these ads properly. And this is really what's important because if your strategy is wrong, then you're going to be wasting a lot of money. One of the things I learned about Facebook ads is that it's very easy to waste a lot of money trying and testing things out and learning things the hard way. So what I'm going to do today is try to save you some of that time and money and tell you what is important and what to focus on when you're creating your ad for your business. We have to begin by asking the question, why would you use a Facebook ad? Why would you market with Facebook? Well, the obvious answer is that you want to reach an audience you don't currently have access to. You want to be able to market to people that have no idea you exist. Agreed? Now that we have agreed to that you're marketing with Facebook ads to people that don't know you exist so they can know you exist, this is called a cold lead. These people don't know you. In other words, they don't really trust you. They don't know what you could deliver. They've never read a blog post on your site, bought a product from you before, or really know what you're all about. This is really important to keep in mind. When you're running ads on the internet, be it Facebook ads, Google AdWords, banner ads, whatever it is, the vast majority of the people that are coming via that ad are cold leads. And one of the biggest mistakes people do with a cold lead is they try to sell them on their products or services right away. I'm gonna come back to that point in a second. But I want to talk about a word that you must have heard before, and it's called conversions. How well does your ad convert? Meaning, if you display your ad 100 times, how many of those people actually do what you want them to do via the ad? Now, in the case I just mentioned where you're actually trying to sell a cold lead on a product or service, your chances of converting them, that's your goal. You're converting them to that goal of buying a product or service is very low. Just think of it. How many times have you clicked on an ad on the internet and bought something from that website immediately after you click that ad. I'm pretty sure many of you are not saying yes. And the reason why, again, is because you only buy from people you trust. And you need to allow time for you to build trust with people. So a principle that you should follow in order to be successful with Facebook ads is that you're running ads as a part of your long-term marketing strategy. I'm gonna explain what that means exactly in detail in this episode. What I found works best with Facebook ads is converting your cold leads to something other than a sale. I use Facebook ads to begin that process where they will eventually buy from me, but first I gotta build that trust. So I use Facebook ads to build trust. I recognize the fact that the people that are coming from Facebook are cold and I need to build trust. So what I do is I lead them instead of to a sales page where they buy something to something free that they can enjoy and really be impressed by what I have to offer. This could be a free ebook, this could be a free course, this could be a free audio course, this could be an email course, this could be a webinar. But the point is is that the point of entry is an email address, a name and email address at most. If you want your ads to convert, you need to make sure what you're trying to convert to is not too difficult for a cold lead. Now you might be saying, well, I'm spending money on ads, I wanna get that money back. Patience, my dear. (laughs) You really need to have patience because in order to get a sale from somebody, you gotta build a trust. So I wanna first focus on converting on my ads so I can get as many people to start trusting me. So when you're building your ads, make sure you're sending them to something that's absolutely free. Facebook ads in general are a little bit too expensive for you to just drop so much money hoping that somebody's just gonna buy off the fact they saw your page. The only time I really saw this work 
is if I was selling something very, very low in price, like a dollar trial. And even then, my conversions were not as high as when I was giving away something for free. So if you're just starting out with Facebook ads, I highly recommend you just start with a free product. Now, when they click on the ad, they get access to something completely free. All they need to do is give their name and email address, and they have access. Now, remember, we're building trust. So remember, the person that does actually convert, that actually opts in and takes your free course or free book, continues to get value from you. So make sure they're on an autoresponder on your email marketing provider like MailChimp or Aweber with continuous, ongoing, great stuff. So usually when I'm running a Facebook ad, I'll have like three or four goodies up my sleeve that I know that when they opt in, that every few days I'm gonna give them a free goodie, something really useful, something really great that they'll love. And also a way for them to get to know me as a person and as a business so they can enjoy the process along the way. So there are a few things you're gonna need when you first start out with your first Facebook ad. And I'm gonna go through this whole procedure of how to actually make sure you're converting on these ads in tomorrow's episode, in part two. So the few things are that you're gonna need an actual ad, like an actual image of what your ad's gonna be. You're gonna need ad copy because there's actual copy that you write under the actual ad. You're gonna need a page that you're gonna send to. So you're gonna have to create a special page on your website that they will go to when they click on the ad. And then they're gonna need the actual offer, whatever you're gonna give them for free in exchange for that. And of course, you're gonna need the other offers or the other sequence of goodies you're gonna give them afterwards. Now you might be saying, well, where is the sale? When are we gonna start selling something to somebody? It's coming. I'm gonna cover all that along with the step-by-step -step procedure with all the things I just mentioned right now in tomorrow's episode in part two. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for part two of this lesson. Guys, thank you so much for listening to The $100 MBA Show. If you have not subscribed to the show yet, please make sure you subscribe so you get all our episodes automatically. So you get part two of this lesson automatically. Just hit the subscribe button on iTunes or on Stitcher. Also, when you hit that subscribe button, it really helps our ranking and helps us do better on iTunes and Stitcher and get more exposure to help other business builders just like you. Remember, guys, everybody who gives us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly draw to win a free ride to the $100 MBA. That's a lifetime membership to our training and community. Every week, somebody wins a free ride. It could be you. Drop us a rating and review. You got nothing to lose. It takes two minutes. You can learn how to do that at 100mba.net slash show. Guys, I want to leave you with this. Like with any marketing, Facebook or anything else, you're going to invest some money in the beginning in just learning what works best for your business. There's no exact formula that works for everybody because your audience is going to be a little bit different than other audiences. And your message is different from other people. So you need to make sure that you allot some money at the start to just test the waters out and see what works best for you. With Facebook, I'd probably say just a lot about $100 to start testing out Facebook ads. I'm not saying that it's going to be completely wasted. You'll probably get a lot of good leads off that, a lot more than you can get anywhere else. But the point is, don't use that first initial $100 that you're going to invest to learn as a barometer to how well Facebook ads do for you. Because you'll learn afterwards that you can get better returns and more leads for your money when you perfect your own system. More about Facebook ads in tomorrow's lesson. I'll check you guys then. Take care.